news you can use. This is a sliding parallel straight edge. You start with a yardstick, some string, and some push pins. What you've got to do is take a yardstick and you put a push pin underneath of this side on the yardstick here on the top and another one there, four on that side and you put four push pins on the left side so here we go go ahead and do that first you come from the e come off the edge you put one underneath of there you put one one inch from the end of the yardstick on the right side of the yardstick and then you put one up at the corner up at the top on the same line as those two are and you throw another one up there in the middle there somewhere. Then you get you another push pin, put it, I'll make sure it's even. You put it underneath of the bottom of there on the one inch mark and then underneath of the table. Now you got to put one up in the top corner. You want it to be about the same place as the other one, so it's lined up like that. And now you know they're all lined up. And then you throw the other one up there, which was the takes up tension. The first string, I'm doing this in two different colors, goes over, under, around, and tie it off. And you use another color to show the other string. You tie it off underneath it there. You come go over, under, around, and you tie it off. Now I'm going to take my string, and I use a clove hitch. And I hook it underneath it there. I'll show you the clove hitch in a minute. All right. So there you go over. I go under. Go around. And then I tie this off. There's the clove hitch. One loop. The other loop. They go opposite. And then they overlap each other. You go on the push pin. And you tie it nice and tight. That's a clove hitch. You stick it on the board and you're good to go for the second string. I'm using an orange string here so you can see the difference of them. Now I'm going to hook it to the pin underneath of there, bring it around, go over, under, around, and then you do another clove hitch on the, the pin that's still there in the middle of the space. Now you undo the two at the top there that are right there in the middle and you can adjust the tension and you can adjust which side is high and which side is low by moving them both at the same time and you push them both into the board and there you go a sliding parallel straight edge. Now what you can do for that is you're drawing a drawing. You line it up with the drawing now you can draw your horizontal lines with a sliding parallel straight edge and you can draw your vertical lines with a triangle just like that and there you go a drafting board with a sliding parallel straight edge